Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on my reaction to She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, Episode 3, The People vs. Emil Blonsky. Here are my thoughts and feelings about the episode. What I thought about the episode, it was decent, funny, only a few bits that are very, very important. We have two stories going on. A story being getting Blonsky out of prison, and the B story getting her old colleague, Miss Waters slash She-Hulk, off because he has been duped by a shapeshift shapeshifter from Asgard, pretending to be Meg the Stallion. So, those are our two stories. What's important, though, of the first story is the fact that we now find out from the scene in Shang-Chi that Abomination was taken out of prison from Wong because he needed to do an initiation so he could become the Sorcerer Supreme. So he wasn't even the Sorcerer Supreme then. He was still just Wong. So he had to do something to do his initiation. He needed Abomination's help. Abomination helped. He went back to prison like he wanted because he wanted to feel safe or maybe he played it like that so it would work in his favour so he could do something else later because at the moment I think he's he's playing everybody I really do I think he's playing everybody I don't think this whole sanctuary thing is is, is I think it's all a ruse but shout out to uh, Neil Blonsky bro your soulmates okay eight soulmates mm. clearly shows that women don't like don't mind a bad guy clearly but apart from that he is pretending. I totally, I totally think that. He's totally pretending. We might see that later, but at the moment, Jennifer Waters slash She Hulk, she got him out of prison. You know, because it clearly showed that regardless of what he's done, he has atoned for his past sins. He is a different guy. So, you know, it's, it's time to let him out. He's been rehabilitated. So, he gets out. But, with the B story, it's just the way to have a reason for Meg Thee Stallion to have her big, grandiose Marvel cameo. That's really what it was for. Because we didn't see anything that will tie into the Marvel story or the Marvel universe in itself. Apart from the end. When we saw the Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew! That's a shout out to Juice, if anybody caught it. Um, but it's um, really... That part of the story with the Wrecking Crew is somebody hired them to get She-Hulk slash Jennifer Waters blood. Why? Don't know. I'm calling it already it was Madame Val. Definitely so she could maybe use the blood for a Hulk in her, in her way. But I still say because she's not able to get that. And this is just basing that if, if it's even her, she'll probably employ the Abomination. If he's able to get out of his situation with the lawyers and all that. Because apparently he can't turn into the abomination now. So, we'll see. But, as an episode, it was, eh, it was okay. Cameo was cool. I thought, I didn't know she would, Meg Thee Stallion would be in the episode. When we saw the YouTube clip, I thought it was just going to be the YouTube clip. But, her being in the court. Okay, it was nice. It was a nice little cameo. And then that, at the end, all dancing and everything. Well, she Hulk is twerking. All right, cool. But no, the episode was good. I enjoyed it. Just those little things are very important. And I wonder what other seeds we're going to see when it comes to the Marvel Universe in the next set of episodes. Because I don't think this is the last time we're going to be seeing Wong. So we'll see what happens, I guess, for the next episode. So, yeah. Those are my thoughts and feelings behind everything, but if you saw anything else or you agree with me on the thoughts that I had about the episode, comment down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Later.